from today. I'm Charlene. It's so good to be here with you today on this beautiful spring day. Welcome. Drop your name and where you're joining us from in the chat, whether you're joining us on Insight Timer or on YouTube. It matters not. I shall find thee. (laughs) I hope you are doing well. We missed you last week. Thank you for bearing with us. We actually had one of our fur babies was in the hospital. So we were, Jeremy was in Gainesville, which is not that close, helping our sweet little Raja. So thank you for uh, not minding that last minute unfortunate cancellation. We were with you in spirit. Jennifer, good morning. It's so nice to see you. Michelle, I'm glad you're here. Monica, hello, hello. Look at your emojis. I'm so happy. Woohoo! Happy spring. Jennifer's from St. Louis, Missouri. Very cool be headed that direction here not too not too long good morning to you Jessica as well this is such a beautiful time of year we're coming into this we've had this spring equinox moving into a state of newness new life rebirth transformation that's really what we're going to be sitting into today you know I love I love the magic, the mystery that is Easter, that is spring. There's something about that opportunity to be reborn. All of life gets reborn. I think it's that really subtle reminder of of that this incarnation will end, right? And yet it never does. No matter your spiritual belief, Even science shows energy cannot be created or destroyed. (laughs) And we know you are pure energy. And we continue on in different forms. So even whenever we have winters within the physical body, there is always that affirmation, the promise that's the truth that will happen of this spring, this rebirth, whatever that is in your belief system. However that looks to you. Interesting, you could even be reborn into nothingness, of not existing. Interesting, isn't it, to think about? (laughs) You could be reborn in a lot of different ways. So I love this metaphor of how we're able to reconnect to ourselves more meaningfully, more deeply. And the spring reminds us of that. And the bulls are really settling in, just, they're just grounding in right now. It's, the energy almost feels like a whoosh. <laughs> Indeed. So, there we have it. Good morning, Lori. How are you, my friend? Monica said your dad crossed over 10 years ago, but you feel his spirit with me. Indeed. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Monica's dad. interesting you know we're moving through an end of life situation with one of our babies and 
these times whenever we see that transformation, that, 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 that collection, the gathering of the energy to then be able to disperse and shift and move on, it really gives us pause as to what is it to be alive, but also what is it to find this rebirth? What would it look like for me? How can I get really comfortable with that idea? And this idea of being able to sit into the promise of this newness that's all around us right now. It's always interesting how the universe works out timings in ways that are sometimes beyond our understanding. <laughs> so if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Again, my name is Charlene, if you're just joining us. In front of you are 19 chromatically tuned quartz crystal singing bowls. In front of me in the white bowls, you basically have all of the white and black notes on a piano keyboard, one octave from middle C to the next C above it. And then we have some additional notes above. Kind of fun. And also some notes below that just help to bring us in into even more place of grounding really feeling into the body and fun we actually have more bowls on the way I have no idea how we're going to fit them to this studio space but we'll figure it out <laughs> the beauty about these bowls is that because they're made out of over 99.999 percent pure quartz crystal and we know quartz is a piezoelectric crystal meaning it's highly conductive of electricity well so are these bowls so one of the reasons that we spend time connecting, chatting, saying hello in the beginning of our sessions is that we begin to have an energy exchange. We're checking the vibe of the room. You can hear the bowls begin to shift and settle and move as different people come through, as different people say hello, as different people's energy gets put upon this, this time and space. Side interesting note, because we broadcast on YouTube, and this video exists in perpetuity. Whether you're joining us live or not, it doesn't matter. Your energy, your attention is still influencing this now moment, which means you may be watching later than what my clock says right now, and yet you're still present time with us without getting into all the quantum mechanics of that, it's this idea of that every now moment exists simultaneously. Time is a distortion of, a, let's just call it a, a notion that we humans like to carry because it helps us delineate that which is otherwise unex, unexplainable more often than not. So by your energy being here whenever whenever when is, you actually begin to shift the energy that the bowls like to reflect back. So we take this, this time in the beginning of each session to really connect and listen, and I let the bowls start to begin to tune. And interesting, we started in one tonality, and we're shifting around, and we're going to kind of find some different things. So during our session today, we'll be able to get the most out of all of these frequencies. Now the cool thing is, is that anytime I play one note, we may perceive one pitch, but there's this really cool phenomenon in music called harmonics or the harmonic series. It's also called the overtone series. And we know that one note is never just one note. It's actually a combination of, well, technically it would go into infinity, but let's just say a lot of notes combined together. And usually it's that combination of all of the notes here in front of us to make up this one note just in differing degrees and in differing octaves. So we're perceiving multiple, multiple tones even when we hear just one bowl speak. It's the combination of those overtones that change the color of the voice. The voice being the bowl, the voice being my bowl. It's why I sound differently than the bowl. Ooh, 
same note, right? But you can tell the difference in my voice because our overtones are different. This is how you can tell a violin from an oboe, from a cello, from a trumpet. So all of these really subtle energies that the bulls are actually asking us right now just to begin to sit into can affect us very, very deeply. So today, because we're preparing for this beautiful holiday, some of us are preparing for this beautiful holiday that is Easter, we're going to really be sitting into this magic, this mystery of rebirth, of transformation, transfiguration, whatever that is for you. So what is it in your life that you would like to begin to welcome a newness, a rebirth, a transformation. Just see if you can begin to call something to mind. It may be very easy. It may be something that immediately comes to mind. <laughs> it may take a few moments. That's okay. Nothing may come to mind. That's all right, too. Just find a feeling that you would like to shift. And sometimes there are things that are so intense, the best thing that our body will allow us to do is say, okay, I don't want to get specific, but I'm going to give you a hazy idea as to what this is because when I look at the specific situation, it can be overwhelming. So if you ever find yourself in that position, again, just always go easy today. These sessions are for you. You get to make it as whatever this is. Create your own adventure, right? Good morning, Sandy. How are you, Cherry Berry? Hello, Almas. Good morning, my friends. Nice to see you. Sandy, oh, thank you for your kind words. Indeed. Yeah. But, like Monica said, they're always with us, no matter how many legs they have, two, three, or four, or none. <laughs> Good morning, City John. How are you? Peace. Oh, you're listening today from the big screen. That's wonderful. Oh, and we appreciate your presence, and I love your green hearts. <laughs> So today, guys, wow, this is a really interesting energy of just um, kind of gathering around specific frequencies right now. You know, typically we, we tend to go all around the bulls, but right now I'm really called towards um, some body-based frequencies. So let's see if we can't begin uh, as soon as we get the clear. <laughs> I feel like I'm calling in <laughs> the radio tower. We, 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 we clear for takeoff. <laughs> no, I'm not even talking to Jeremy. <laughs> if this is your first time joining us, Jeremy is my husband who runs this wonderful uh, show and production just sounds really weird to say, yet it's such industry lingo. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> These sessions. There we go. So just make yourself comfortable. <laughs> oh, and good morning, Lori and Matt. And Jane, if I missed you as well, hello, hello. So just find a comfortable position, whether you're seated, if you want to lay your body down, however you find it, I will encourage you strongly today to see if it feels good for your spine to be erect, however that is, whether it's flat on the ground, whether you're sitting straight up, see if we can't really bring in a conscious awareness into the, the flow of the body whenever we have... A straight spine, it allows for a lot greater flow, and it feels like we're really going to be working in this area, at least for now. So by having that strong spine, it's going to strengthen the core and allow this energy to flow even um, more poignantly with grace. So see, whatever that position is for you. I know some of our friends love to listen with headphones. Give it a go if that works for you. And if you have a grounding practice, wow, this is really interesting. I invite you to begin that now. Just go ahead and begin to ground. Okay? And if not, 
that. Think, imagine, or feel a golden cord of light that originates at the base of your spine. You may feel it sitting right below or around that root chakra, the muladhara chakra, that first energy center. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just if you're sitting on the ground, feel almost as though that those sits bones, the ischial tuberosity, are really just connected into the ground, the earth, the seat, the chair below you. So in that place of this first energy center, think, imagine, or feel a golden cord of light. It may be braided for some of you today. Begin to wrap that, see it descending down, out of that first energy center into the earth, through the ground, into the earth below you. Hmm. Rooting itself into our beautiful Mother Earth, finding a place of sweetness for you, whatever that may be. In this sweetness, there's an innate strength where you feel so space, knowing that you're tethered, you're not going anywhere, and allowing this, wow, some of you may just need to breathe right now, just witness your breath as you're continuing this grounding practice, this is very intense, um,
seems to be floating around you. It's almost as though on a beautiful afternoon you can see the golden sunlight peeking through your window as the dust just gently dances in the air. It's that same sensation. How is this suspended? How are these particles suspended and moving so gracefully, elegantly? Right now we're moving between this place of the common. and relaxing the heart. And gently exhale.
powerful creator. Your mind creates the reality of which you perceive the world. Your reality is different than your neighbor's. It's different than mine. Because each of our life experiences and our understanding, our perception of them begins to shape how we think life is happening to or for us. Whether you're a spiritualist or a scientist, we can all agree that our mind is actually a byproduct of our emotional state. And you can map, shape, carve, and sculpt the emotions in your body. bit more. 
more power if you need, a little more juice, <laughs> a little more of that, we'll call it magic energy today, to allow that transformation, good, to more fully take root, beautiful, breathing, using the breath to move energy. life force that is you directing it where you would like for it to go once it's there seeing it envelop and wrap around this pocket of energy escorting it down that grounding cord allowing it just to shift out of your space anything that you're ready to let go of bud that's just about to break through the ground, what color will that blossom be when that flower opens? You're the creator. Experience it.
subtlety of the tones. Just allow yourself to experience that. Maybe as color, maybe as sound.
yourself the space and the permission to grow this new energy. Is there any last permission that feels necessary, good, satisfying for you to begin to bring in right now? Perhaps you know immediately where you need to allow yourself, offer yourself more grace, more permission. Perhaps you don't. Whatever that is, just think, imagine, or feel an affirmation of I am safe, I am whole, I give myself permission to be who I am, fully, completely, without reservation. into the nasal passages, down the throat, stopping, resting in the place of the heart. Allow this rose gold color, this frequency, to be your oxygen.
breathing in this red, inviting in this red color into the first energy center. Feeling rooted, more connected. Bringing your attention now to the top of your head, to that crown, the seventh chakra, the Sahaswara chakra, the seat of consciousness where the root chakra connected us into the earth. This seventh chakra begins to connect us up out to all that is. See if you can hold that space, that little bit of tension. Remember, tension can be good. It just means a pull, right? So the tension between this beautiful red that you've been bringing into this first energy center and now a brilliant violet, that soft purple color into the top of your head and that crown. Can you feel those two energies happening simultaneously? Beautiful, taking a deep breath in, holding that breath in, feeling the heart relax and then just let that go. Release those two colors that sensation between the upper and lower. Bringing your attention now, actually just dropping it into your head, into the sixth energy center, in between the eyes, that third eye. Beautiful, think, imagine, or feel a beautiful indigo color, like the color of a midnight sky. Just softly drinking in this still small voice, the seat of intuition as it floats on this midnight sky. Now, with this sensation in your sixth chakra, begin to witness your second energy center. Find your navel, that soft part of your belly, that lower abdominal area. And just as you would brought an indigo to the sixth energy center, begin now to bring in a beautiful orange, like a persimmon color. Feeling that space, holding that space between that orange, that persimmon, and this indigo, this dark blue. that are perfectly corresponding pairs to just float away. Shifting your attention now down, actually up, into this third energy center, the seat of fire, the Manipura chakra, think, imagine, or feel a brilliant yellow. Though some of you are going with orange, that's great too. (laughs) Whatever this color of fire is for you today that you need, the color doesn't matter. The color just represents a frequency. What frequency do you need? Find it. Very clear for many of you today. (laughs) It's wonderful. Feeling this fire here, that upper part of your belly, truly that fire in your belly. Now see if you can bring balance to this part of your belly with the area of your fifth energy center, your throat. In that throat area, think, imagine, or feel a beautiful blue. It could be a sky blue. Find your right color of blue as you balance between these two frequencies. It's a little tighter of a rope to walk, to balance upon. For some of you, it may feel very easy. For many, a little bit trickier. Good, good. Remember, you are 
the master of your vessel. Beautiful. Balancing between this yellow fire and this blue ether. Taking a deep breath in, holding that breath in, letting the heart relax, and then just gently allow this tension of opposite to release. Now arriving back in your starting point of your heart, whether you ascend into it or you fall into it. Your heart is definitely feeling the spin. The heart, the anahata, the unstruck sound, it is moving. Think, imagine, or feel whatever color feels good to you right now. Perhaps it's rose gold, perhaps it's emerald green. Perhaps it's silver. Perhaps it's white. Find your colors. Just begin to fill your heart. You may want to place one or two hands over your heart, taking a deep breath in, holding that breath in, feeling the sensation of your heart. You may even feel the beating of your beautiful, sacred heart. And gently exhale. Just let it go. to hear. Tell me in the comments. Ah, it's so interesting today what the bulls really brought through. Kind of not what I was expecting, but again, learn to hold no expectation <laughs> and allow the flow. So as you share in the comments, I'd love to go through that. But let me reflect back to what I saw today. So today we really sat in some very defining tones. There were some very defining frequencies. Defining both by pitch, but also by intervals. So the, the pitch that we were really, really centered around heavily today was actually working around that second energy center, around that second chakra, the Svadhisthana chakra, that is that watery center, that place of creativity, of rebirth. Well, duh, I didn't think of that till now. <laughs> it is this place of birth, of new life, which now makes complete sense to my human brain now that I'm back. Hello. So the bulls really wanted us to focus on that. I remember during it, I'm like, oh, what are we doing? <laughs> so that's what was happening. And we were really feeling into this watery space, which is beautiful. It's perfect. It's exactly what you need. What, what does it need? We, we need shower. We need springtime, uh, this replenishment, nourishment, right? So we were very much bringing that in. And then we were really working in two major archetypes today. We worked with the magician. So moving in this place of magic. And it wanted, the bulls wanted us to shift between the magician and the everyman. That's like your normal, 
your average Joe, your everyday Jane kind of thing. This is our perception of normal, right? So we were moving between this place of moving beyond something, like the Harry Potter world, back between Harry Potter and the Muggles, essentially. So we were really... The, the bulls really wanted those vibrations to come out and they came out in multiple places but they also really wanted us to connect with this idea of the creator and we did that in a couple ways and the idea where that the jester so the one who can bring a lightness but still expands and brings a truth to the perspective was coming through that also then shifted into the creator where something's going to resolve something's going to be introduced and everything is possible so that's really where we were where we were sitting and working today truly magical truly beautiful so i'd love to hear how this was for you oh my goodness jeremy thank you so much for taking me to these comments oh hi caprice i'm so glad you were here stephanie thank you my pleasure so Capri says, the, the words and sounds you've chosen are so beautiful and powerful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, let me reflect back to you that um, they weren't, I guess everything is chosen, right? Everything. Uh, however, they were very much reflected back. So all of this was the energy that you brought, that you all showed up with today. I just got to uh, be a mirror. So yeah, and the bowls were really beautiful. And you say, Caprice, you also, you, you feel thankful and light. Oh, I love that. Yay. And speaking of yay, Yetta, yay, rebirths. Yes, exactly. JG, hello. I'm so glad you're here. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter to you too. Monica, thank you. You feel so much gratitude in your heart. Yes, well, I'm grateful. There we go. Um, I feel so connected to nature. You were sitting on your, um, you're sitting in your garden. Oh, that sounds beautiful. And all of your sunflower emojis that's perfect perfect place to celebrate this new freshness of spring oh i love it amy thank you so beautiful so much bliss wonderful i'm glad you i'm glad you experienced bliss that bliss feeling is that connection where we can hold the opposites of what it is to be human and what it is to be divine right i love that beautifully said thank you i'm glad you found some bliss not me beautifully said, you sang the bliss. Sorry, that came out weird. Monica, yes, you were sitting in your garden. <laughs> I got that. No worries, no worries. Typos happen, especially in my hands. Geraldine, so beautiful. Oh, look at your purple hearts. You said you, you imagined your three sons and husbands were all standing with you on the beach. And while uh, we... we while we were all and done it together it felt really beautiful and powerful oh that's amazing thank you it's my pleasure geraldine so glad i didn't miss it oh you're my little bit of utter bliss <laughs> that's very kind of you thank you and thank you everyone for your flexibility with timing today too we really appreciate it we actually are trying to juggle multiple things uh and now jeremy's actually about getting ready to head back and take raja back into uh, our wonderful doctors in the hospital. And so, you know, any any prayers and positive thoughts you can send to Raja, we would appreciate it. It's a powerful time for all of us. Lori, look at your heart emojis and sparkles. I love that. Look at that perfect alignment. That's that's really interesting. How did that feel holding the tension? It's just the best word I could come up with. That that, But that tension of opposites. I just think of tension not as like, tension, but tension like a really good dance frame if any of you do ballroom dancing or think that dancing is beautiful that's it's that it's that subtle graceful tension that you're able to move in space with pure awareness it's that same type of thing that we were working on today just felt right for some reason to to see about holding how can we hold these um these different energy centers in a different way sometimes it's easy to focus solely on one center at a time of course our muscles really good at that but what if we did it Ooh, in a different way working different muscles love it monica thank you so much for your prayers we appreciate you yes Lori, thank you of course powerful and transformative awesome difficult to describe more at this time yeah well it's kind of like spring yeah, you know, it's we can't always define that which is happening right in front of us, and yet we just marvel at what it is. That's beautifully said, Lori. And also, thank you for sending love and healing energy. I appreciate that. 
Ah, uh, JG, I'm so glad you're here. Allison, thank you so much for sending healing love and energy. Appreciate that. Cherry Berry, you say it's beautiful as well. You feel light and much gratitude. I love it. That's so wonderful. I'm so glad you're here, Cherry Berry. Jeremy, I see the comments on YouTube as well, too. Uh, City, uh, hey, Mary. Good morning from Buffalo. Yay. City John, you say it was so good. Oh, good. Very aligned practice, practice and right on time. Amazing. Yeah time ha huh. remembering your unique signature beautifully said you're excited to do it again gratitude always and to you as well my friends it is always such a pleasure to be here with you thank you for joining us thank you for joining us at a slightly different time today we will see you again soon i'll post some new dates and times for the month of april april but until we meet again, know how very loved you are. I wish you and yours a beautiful holiday, spring season, whatever you celebrate. Um, moving through the, the eclipses, we've got some great holidays coming up. Happy Easter. Everything that brings your heart joy this season, may it be pressed down, shaken together, and run over. Which means basically just means it's a whole heck of a lot of it. I love you, my friends. I look forward to seeing you soon. Be well. Satnam. I love you.